Hello everyone, this is Absar Ali. In this video tutorial, we're gonna see about auto completion of WebDriver IO in Visual Studio Code. So you might have seen uh, like in the previous videos, uh, we uh, wrote browser, then dot, it doesn't show all the available methods available in uh, WebDriver IO, right? But in case of Selenium, the Eclipse or IntelliJ ID, you might have seen when we write something driver dot, then it will give us the list of available methods, right? So that it will be easy for us to uh, choose which particular um, method that we can use. So how we can enable that auto completion in our Visual Studio Code? So if you go to the documentation of WebDriver IO, you might see uh, this particular section if you go to visual studio code auto completion okay in here so if you go to here visual studio code and the certain settings that we need to do in order to enable auto completion in visual studio code the first thing that we need to do is just create a js config uh, dot json okay in the root directory so it should be within this root directory uh, not any uh, folders it should be in root directory okay so let me just create a file called js config dot json so this is being created now the second step would be just copy this all things if you're using mocha then uh, you have to do like this, but we are using Jasmine in this case, so we can remove the mocha as well in here. If you don't need the mocha, that's fine. Just remove that, but we need this particular dependency, WDIO sync. So that is uh, what it will work. And here, I think it's a spec file location we need to provide in here, so it should be uh, this is my current directory, then uh, in the current directory is not present. So what I need to do, maybe I just to write star star this, because within the test, I have a spec file, right? So it should be star star, then star star, then this particular thing, okay? So this is what, but, and another thing that we need to install is WDIO sync package. So this one we need to install in our project npm install WDIO sync. So once we install it, now let's save this. Now let's test it. Okay. So browser, you can see it's coming from WebDriver.io browser object dot. You can see all the available methods uh, you can see in the auto completion, right? So you can use any method. Uh, like maybe you can just use dollar, then something, something. And you'll see the auto completion as well in here you can read the documentation as well for this okay so this is how it works so you can set up in your uh, visual studio code just create a just config.json file within that and just provide this particular thing and install wdio sync uh, dependency and that will work fine all right so you can see in the wdio sync is being installed in here so that is the thing that will enable uh, auto completion on visual studio code okay thanks for watching bye for now